All right, so the very basic most piece of spin kicks requires us to have balance on one foot. So the funny thing is, is I'm making this video because Jennifer and I were playing with this a little bit, and we're kind of trying to experiment with what really helps us to understand the spin. So let's start off, first of all, with the kick. So if I'm going to do a spinning hook kick, i got to get my body centered over two feet to start. I'm going to start to turn and spin, and i got to get my body nicely balanced on one leg, while this leg comes up, spins, and goes around, if that makes sense. So if I'm trying to make this kick, right, how do I get there if I don't have the right balance? First of all, if I pitch forward, it makes it hard to throw the kick this way. If I pitch back, it makes it impossible to throw the spinning kick, you can throw maybe a crescent kick. So kind of think about that. So here we go. We're going to do a simple drill. We're going to stand on one foot, lightly touch the ground, and just start moving. I know it seems ridiculously simple, but if you can't do that move, probably you have poor balance on one leg. All right? Now, if you can do that much, let's lift it up. All right? This is kind of what we're looking at. Okay? You can go around once, twice, three times, whatever you want to do. All right. If we can get it a little bit higher, maybe, we're going to kind of start feeling like what this kick is going to look like. All right. Now, I know this is ridiculously simple or simplistic, but in the end, we got to get to here and throw that kick in a way that makes sense. So what are we going to do about crescent kick? Start with toes up, front kick kind of looking thing, heel kind of on the ground, and we start doing this. Okay, and I can actually do this one quite easy. All right. We want crescent kick, we start spinning, and we lift up this way. All right. So I want this kick. This way, we kind of whip the body, angle it down, make a little cut. All right? This is kind of the idea. Can you do that simple drill to kind of get your uh, centrifugal force, building that speed, building that torque so that you can make a good kick? Anyways, thought that was interesting that we were playing with. Hope it helps you. If you're working on your spin kicks, work low first. So if I want to spin kick, nothing wrong with doing it this way. Almost like a sweep, okay? Think about that's the contact point right there. Later on, maybe to the knee. Later on, maybe to the body. This way. And then when we're done, we want the head. All right, guys, hope that helps.